Hey everyone! Welcome to What Am I Wearing Wednesday, where I will show you what I am wearing in Star Wars The Old Republic. Today I am gonna show you my Han Solo look. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon for just $1 a month. It helps me and my content out a lot. To create this look, I am using Tyranthium Onslaught Jacket. This is a craftable armor piece that you can craft through Armor Mech, which is in the very beginning as you train it. It's a level 10 armor piece in the Adaptive Armor section. This is, however, only Republic side, because as soon as you go to Imperial, it looks completely different. Another way to get this armor piece is by purchasing the legacy armor that's called RD-07A Spider Body Armor. It has no requirements, it's bound to legacy, it only costs 2500 credits, and in theory you can buy this on another character and then just put it into your legacy bank or send it to the character that needs it. You will find the adaptive gear vendor in the supply area of the fleet, which on Republic side is in this corner, it's in the very first booth, on Imperial side, it will be on the opposite side instead. To top it off, I'm adding a black and light grey dye module in. We have the black vest with the white shirt, which also transfers to the other pieces that we will talk about. Then I'll be sure to using the covert energy armor for both the wrist and the gloves, because we don't want any braces and we don't want any gloves. We want the bare hands gripping that blaster pistol, of course. Then I'm using the Elegant Duelist Belt. And because of the black and light grey dye module from the chest, this turns completely black. It has a nice big silver buckle and has the strap hanging down on the side and utilities hanging on as well. It fits so nicely for the Han Solo look. Then I'm using Adam Rand's pants with a dark blue and deep red dye module in because you need that dark blue color and the red stripe down the side. I also do like the detail right over the knee where it looks like a strap that fits for a blaster holder. Possibly. However, there is another way to get these sort of pants with that stripe down the side. You still need that kind of dye module, but if you go back to the adaptive gear vendor, you scroll further down, then you will find the Scout's leggings. They're only 600 credits, they have no requirements. They have the same stripe down the side, which will give that flare when you then add the dark blue and deep red dye module to it. This dye module is a cartel market item, so the way I have gotten it is by purchasing it on the GTN. Last but not least, I am using the Humble Hero boots. I find these are some of the most perfect boots for the Star Wars Universe look. They look like riding boots in the same way as George Lucas chose to use it in the late 70s, early 80s. And they fit perfectly in with the black and light grey dye that you have to, from the chest piece. So you get the overall Han Solo look. To top it all off, I am also using the Kingpin's blaster pistol. It's a legacy weapon that you can get through the nightlife event. So if you have enough of those certificates, you can go buy it on Nojadar. The vendor are still there. It has probably the best feel of the Han Solo blaster. Although I do think that Flashy gives a nice Han Solo look as well. So if you have that from your storyline, that's okay as well in my opinion. I hope this has inspired you to create a really nice look for your character. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, maybe add a comment, tell me how you created this look. And finally, I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting my content. Bye!